Okay, hey guys. Um, I'm gonna do another video here. So, on on my truck, I've had a lot of um, wind noise and just uh, really doesn't seem like the door door seals um, seal up good. So I actually got online. I've done a lot of research on this. Have looked up, you know, on these hinges, um, checking to see if they're worn out. All my hinges look good on um, both sides of the truck. So I've already done the driver's side and it worked awesome. So I've come over here now, I'm gonna do the passenger side. So basically what, what I'm gonna do is mark with some chalk here, the outline of the, um, of the origin or where it was at originally. So just kind of getting a baseline of where it was. Sorry, that chalk noise is pretty bad. Um, this is actually a T50, that's what size these are. So I'm gonna back them up a little bit. Kind of snug it back down. Cause this, I'll show you guys, there is a lot of play um, in this piece. I mean, you've got quite a bit of room for movement. So um, if you loosen them up too much, I mean, they will fall, move everywhere on you. So basically what I wanna do, um, I don't know, you guys can see where it was. So basically I'm just kicking it back a little bit me about right there oops try to keep it um, straight for the most part right in there let me get that back up there so again if you snug these down a little bit it makes it a little easier to keep it keep everything um, kind of where it needs to be there so again trying to keep the same distance top and bottom so I'm gonna go there and tighten it back up. So, got that all tightened up. Um, I don't know how much you guys can see. I mean, it moved it back maybe a sixteenth, eighth of an inch. And then we go to shut the door. Still shuts good. Um, I think it needs to go a little more. I don't know if you guys can see that there is some movement still. Um, still a little bit of a gap. So, I'm going to go a little further. There-ish. Now you guys can see how much I've moved in now from my original mark, top and bottom. Again, I'm really trying to keep these top two lines um, even. So that way the striker plate is still hitting where it needs to. And yeah, it's a lot tighter. You can actually feel the door kind of almost have to push it pretty hard to get it to shut so I mean it fills this gap in a lot tighter so um, really I just wanted to kind of make a video of this because I, I, honestly I, I did a lot of research um, and couldn't find find a whole lot uh, on this I, I did find one one article on a forum where a guy adjusted these in so thought I'd give it a shot and um, kind of do a video on it again when you guys loosen these up I really truly advise to mark where you're at so that way you're not loosening it up and you know it's dropping or you know you get it way out of whack so um, but yeah so not too bad uh, thought I'd do a quick video of that process and yeah really makes a big difference um, I can tell you from the driver's side already being done going down the road the door uh, the door actually was loose enough that when you hit bumps it would move um, and kind of rattle and also just the wind noise was terrible on these two front doors so um, just like I said doing the driver's side was night and day difference um, so I'm sure this passenger side seems to be seems to be the exact same issue again um, things you guys need to check before you, you jump right to the door door latches check out your weather stripping make sure it looks good all the way around uh, mine looks great uh, your door hinges um, in here on these pins the pin back here on the back side as well as the lower one check those um, you can lift up on the door and if you've got a lot of movement which like when I lift up on mine my whole truck moves there's no play in that so uh, yeah I mean the only other other thing I could do really was was on this hinge uh, adjustment so um, which and if you look at these the, the driver's side is probably a little worse but you can see where it's been um, the, 
where it's rubbed and on the, actually on the driver's side there's a little bit of a lip right here on, on both sides of it so I, I think it's just wore out just a little bit and moved over the years but again if you guys have any questions uh, feel free to ask i'll try to help you out um love if you guys hit that subscribe button uh, like button i'm really trying to grow the channel we're getting there but uh slow process so again thanks for watching